Hello Wi-Fi lifers, hello Facebook, Amy here coming to you with a number one video of 90 and um, I'll get to the reason behind that very shortly but jumping in to have a quick chat about the topic of fear. Now this is much discussed in our online community and much discussed in the realm I guess of personal development. There's plenty of books out there that discuss the topic of fear, one in particular called Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway, which the title alone is enough to give us all a kick up the bum. But I thought I'd jump in and share a couple of insights that I've had or experiences that I've had just to relate it um, back to a topic that is ultimately the inspiration behind this being one of 90 videos over the next 90 days. So, fear. What a stupid fucking emotion it is. And how many things does it stop us from doing? So fear, ultimately, let's face it, is, the f is an emotion around something that hasn't happened, isn't it? Hasn't happened, but yet we don't do things because of fear. So, and, and ultimately it's all things, usually it's things that if we just did them anyway, we'd be a lot happier. And the thing is, it never goes away. And this is something that I'm experiencing a whole new round of recently. And um, some friends and I were having a discussion this morning around the fact that our growth, our personal development, our experience of life, it, it doesn't stop and fear comes up around all sorts of things. So fear of being rejected, fear of failure, fear of being alone, fear of change, fear of pain, fear of this of discomfort, fear of running out of money. They're all things that if we just got on with it and ignored the fear, would ultimately, ultimately take our levels of happiness a lot higher. Fear of rejection being a huge one, not going for a new job, not asking someone out on a date, all things that could bring us a lot of happiness if we just ignored the fear and, and got on with it. So the fact that it's something, you know, it's, it's an emotion based around something that hasn't happened yet. And so my experience of that two years ago I'm experiencing fear around different things now. My experience um, around fear two years ago was quitting my job. And all I did was ask myself, after a discussion with some friends, some amazing friends, um, who I will always be grateful to for this particular Skype chat, ultimately you just have to ask yourself, what is the absolute worst that can happen if I do this thing? And for me at that point in time, it was, I fail, I run out of money, I have to get another job that really a bad thing? I might have had to have moved in with my parents um, for a while to save money. Not ideal, not, not my first choice, but really not terrible. So we get people all the time asking about our business opportunity. I haven't got the time. I haven't got the money. It's like, well, what would you do to have to get the money? I'd have to get a loan. Okay. So are you going to do that? Do you want this enough? And it's fear. They won't do it because they're, they're worried they're going to run out of money. People don't go up to people and ask them out on a date in a bar. Fear. Everything. If you think about anything you want and think about why you're not doing it, I guarantee you'll boil it down to fear. And what's interesting is when you ask yourself that question of what's the worst that can possibly happen, the likelihood is you're going to think of an example of something that you've already done in your life where you experienced a similar fear. So possibly you're basing it on past experience, which is also not right because it's also not happening now. Um, if you think about something that you've already achieved and overcome and you're still here and you're still breathing, then the worst didn't happen. And what's inspired me to jump back on video today and for the next 90 days is a group of people in our online community who are 100% smashing through their fears. And we had an event last weekend whereby um, one of our coaches, one of our mentors asked the room, um, think of the absolute worst possible scenario you could possibly face in your life um, and would you still pursue this thing if that were to happen not necessarily as a direct consequence of pursuing the thing but if that thing were to happen would you still want what you're saying you want a new lifestyle and you know more money whatever and a lot of people in the room stood up and one particular person um, who's a good friend of mine who will remain nameless for now but she'll know who she is if she's watching um, we very quickly looked at each other and established that she had already been through that scenario and um, therefore 
what could possibly be more scary? Why on earth would you have fear around anything if you've already faced your greatest fear and overcome it and you're still here and you're still, to a degree, very happy um, and successful? So that's the insight I wanted to share. And that person in particular is, is who has inspired me to um, pick up my phone and get my camera equipment back out and start doing live videos because I took part in a 90-day video challenge when I quit my job and, and started this journey full-time. And um, we have a 90-day video challenge in our community um, as, a, as a safe environment for people to get comfortable on video. So I thought, second round, I'm going to take it up a notch and do it live from my business page. So it's out there now. This is day one. I'm facing a fear to a degree. I don't really have a fear around getting on camera. Um, I do have a fear of failing. I do have a fear of not replicating success at the moment. And there's a certain degree of anxiety there that I'm now sort of working through. So I thought, what better way than to, to develop a new habit around video? I had set myself a guideline that this wasn't gonna be longer than five minutes. I've no idea how long I've been, but I'm gonna work on that through the course of the 90 days. And this group, the 90 Day Video Challenge in our community, um, is just full of people smashing through their fear of being on camera, smashing through other things, sharing their experience of facing their fears. And I thought, well, okay, Taylor, what's your excuse? Um, you could do with a bit of practice on video. You could do with getting used to it again. Um, it's very much, I'm doing it already, not looking at the camera. See, one of those, that's one of the things I need to practice for. Um, not looking at the lens and looking at myself, which means your eyes do that. That might be a topic for another video. Um, and I was so inspired by all these people taking action and facing their fears. You all know who you are. Um, I will be sharing this video into that group for these, those people. You're all amazing. You've inspired me beyond belief. And that is why I am raising my game um, to join you. So anything you've got fear around at the moment, really ask yourself the question, what is the absolute worst that can happen? Is it worth that risk? Is it a calculated risk? Um, have you experienced anything in your life before where you, ex where you were feeling a, a similar fear before it and you clearly got through it, well, you, you did if you're watching this video, um, and therefore is it worth robbing yourself of what could be on the other side of just smashing through it and doing it anyway? So I hope that was some degree of value to your day. Happy Easter. Go and enjoy your chocolate and I will see you on day two tomorrow. Take care. Bye.